how you doing? Today I've got this. It is called Deviation from Hot Pods. Thank you very much, Stephen Dixon, for sending me this through. Um, it's a ginger hot sauce. Now, I love a bit of ginger. Redhead, strawberry blonde, it's a thing. Uh, so when I got this, it was like, I thank you very much, Stephen. Now, what I do love about Hot Pods sauces is the artwork. On this one, you've got a, a nice kind of uh, Mad Max style punk sort of late 70s, early 80s mohawk there. Uh, also the ingredients is what I like. The main ingredient on this one is in fact rhubarb. 20% uh, rhubarb, so uh, I was like, that's intriguing. Um, a little bit of uh, information it says here. Uh, an alternative hot sauce combining ginger, rhubarb and turmeric with a mix of super hot chilies. Uh, now do check out the um, Hot Pods website. It is hotpodschiliproducts.com if you look at the lovely colour, it's a lovely orangey colour. That'll be the turmeric uh, doing that, I reckon. I'm just going to run through the ingredients with you. Um, as I said before, rhubarb is the main ingredient. So that's 20% rhubarb. You've got ginger, 10%. Now that's quite a lot of ginger as well. Uh, you've got mixed super hot chilies, 10%. You've got onions, white wine vinegar, turmeric, yeah. Cold pressed extra virgin rapeseed oil, nice. Salt and sugar. I'm going to open this up now, see what we've got inside. Let's see if we can do this. Get rid of all the plasticky bits. Okay, give it a shake. And let's see what we got. Nice little pop there. Okay, we've got uh, some. Up here. Okay, wow. Ginger is the, is the main thing coming through there. Oh, that's delightful. Little, little tiny bit of vinegar, but not much. It's mainly, mainly ginger, which is a good thing. Now I can't, am I getting rhubarb as well? It's difficult to tell. I'm gonna just splurge that around a bit, see if I can actually knock that back a bit. Let's see if I can actually shake this up a bit more. Okay, well it's got a load more in the uh, in the end there. But yeah, ginger is the main thing we got there. Yeah, come on, come out. <laughs> this is going to come out in, the, in one big splodge, isn't it? Come on, come to daddy. Just talk amongst yourselves. Right, I'm gonna scoop some of this out with a knife. And put it on the spoon there. I think it's the fibers in the ginger just sort of uh, blocking things up a bit. Come on, here we go. Come on, a bit more, come on. Come on. Aha. Come on. Here we go. Whee. Okay. So uh, a bit more liquid. Just there. So we've got a nice amount here. Whoops. Don't want to drop that. Yeah. Oh yeah. A bit of ginger. A bit of onion there. <sighs> yeah. A little bit of vinegar. All right. I'm just going to neck this now. Down in one, bottoms up. Oh, yeah, ginger and the chilies. Oh, that is hot. That is really quite quite a spicy, pokey thing <coughs> of chilies there. Wow, yes. I'm not getting much of the rhubarb, maybe that's more of a, a base to it, but it's intensely ginger, a bit of onion, and incredibly spicy, the, the, the heat from the chilies is there. Wow. I was wondering what to actually have that with when I was looking at the ingredients, you know, in, for now, um, I've got a bit of ginger in my teeth, one sec. That's got it. And I was thinking that would work with a stir fry 
you could use that, uh, you know, when you're starting things up with the stir fry. Because you, I always like to add ginger to stir fry. Oh, nice. But today I've actually got some cheese and biscuits because I thought it might work with these. Whew. Nice. Got a bit of manchego on this one with a bit of cheddar and a bit of, uh, bit of vintage gouda there and some uh, little cherry tomatoes. I'm going to just try a bit on the uh, manchego first. It's like a sweeter, sort of buttery cheese. Let's see how this works. Ooh. Chin chin. That's just not too bad. Combination there. I wasn't sure what to expect. Normally I would have a you know a chutney with cheese, and I thought, um, this might be a bit, you know, have a bit of sweetness from uh, uh, from the rhubarb, but it's actually quite a savoury sauce. There's no added sugar. Actually, there was a tiny bit of sugar towards the end. I'm going to cherry tomato now. Mmm, nice and sweet. A bit of this on the uh, cheddar now. There we go. Whew. Chin chin. Mm, that's not work quite well as well. <coughs> I'll try and say that again without a mouthful. That works well. Again, another little cherry tomato. Mm. They're acting as a little kind of palate cleanser, which is quite nice. Mm. Okay, now for vintage gouda. This is quite a strong flavour, so I'm not, I'm not sure how this will work with the uh, with the sauce. There we go. Mm. I've got more of, the, more of the turmeric coming through them. Actually, you know what? That one's worked the best of all, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, that in fact that works very well. Mmm. Oh, I think that was my favourite. Mmm. Very nice. Another tomato. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice indeed. What can I say? Thank you very much again, Stephen, for sending me this. And thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, like, share, comment and all that. And I'll see you again another time. Thanks. Bye. Hello, my tangent here. How are you doing? Today I've got this. Here we go. Hot pot. Oh, gee. Hmm. That could have been very bad. That could have been very bad.